So let us first discuss the aims. The aims of uh, uh, IBEA or the aims of the Imperial British East African Company. What were the goals? What did they need? What? Why was it important for them to get this territory and to administer uh, uh, to administer that territory? The first one, they uh, were to maintain law and order. They were supposed to maintain law and order in the territory. So, they, their mandate was to make sure that the territory that was declared a German sphere on, of influence. Remember, during the Berlin Conference, one of the terms of that conference or the Berlin Conference was that a company that had declared a sphere of influence had to follow that declaration with effective occupation. Effective occupation. So they had to effectively occupy. What does it mean to effectively occupy? There had to be uh, uh, law and order in that territory. So the first order of business of the, uh, of the Imperial British East African Company was to maintain law and order. And then number two, they were to counter. It was to counter, counter the influence, counter the influence of the French, uh, the Germans, and Italy who are also interested in this area. So the Imperial British East African Company was given the role or the mandate of countering the influence of the Germans, especially who are the biggest rivals in this area uh, to the British. So the other aim or the other goal for them was to counter uh, the spread or the influence of uh, uh, of uh, those countries. Number three, they were to control and develop trade. They were to control and develop develop trade and trading activities. They had to make sure that uh, there was uh, there was effective trade activities in that area. The communities or they were they, they were able to. Uh, uh, exploit the resources. They were able to get control of the trading activities in the territory. That was the next, uh, the next, the next aim. The fourth one, that is number four. Uh, they were to collect. They were supposed to levy, not just collect. They were supposed to levy. Allow me to. Uh, Rub that they were supposed to levy and collect taxes taxes on the territory. That was the next uh, work of the Imperial British East African Company or the next aim or goal of the uh, company. They were supposed to levy that is to apportion the taxes that are required and then number two to collect those taxes for the benefit or for the influence of the uh, of the company and then lastly they were supposed to uh, advocate advocate for the end of slave trade. They were supposed to abolish slave trade in that territory. They were supposed to make sure that the slave trade that had started happening, that was led by the sultan uh, at the coast, has now been uh, avoided or had now been brought to an end. So those were the aims of, the, of this company as it occupied the 
uh, territory of Kenya. Remember, Britain is occupying this land. They have made uh, an agreement as nations, but as a government, they are not able to come and occupy that land physically. So they use the, uh, uh, this company to control the, the, the territory. So those were the aims.